It's been a bit of a break on these ones, but today you are getting another meal prep. Um, but this one's kind of different because I'm clearing out the fridge. <laughs> Exciting stuff, eh? So I'll start with breakfast. So I've picked up more of the kind of special K type flakes and banana chips that I already had in the cupboard. Um, so I quite like them as a combo. So while I've had the banana chips kicking around in the cupboard for a bit, picked up special K to go with it. Um, for lunches, now this recipe and the story behind it you'll find out more on our Patreon. Um, it's just some soup. It may seem kind of boring, um, it may seem kind of, you know, meh, but this is a very, very special type of soup um, and it means quite a lot to us. So uh, we've got some of that, now the weather is getting a bit colder and we've got some oat cakes to go with it. So like I say, if you want to find out more about that, head on over to Patreon and you'll get the recipe and the story behind it. Ooh, special soup. Now let's get on to everything else. Now what I've done is I have gone through the fridge and kind of picked up all the odds and ends. So I've got like a bit of um, pasta sauce, some leftover rice, some olives, like some wedges left over, like a little bit of like an omelette type thing. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of make these into some meals. So I've got some leftover curry there. So add in some rice and that is one meal done. So see, meal prep can be super, super quick. Um, the reason I've not been doing meal prep the last couple of weeks is that mainly I've just not had matching shifts and it's just not really kind of worked out. So uh, this week we're both working Friday Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it makes sense just to get all of this out the way and done. Um, now what I'm doing here, I've put the wedges in a separate tub and I'm going to use that omelet with some fried rice. So I've got some spring onions in the um, in the kitchen. I've also got like some leftover veggies in the fridge. Um, so he's getting some green beans with that and a little bit of carrot. Um, I've also got, you'll see the packet there in the back. I will um, hold that up to the camera in a second. Um, it's like that marinated chili soy stuff, tofu maybe. Um, we've got one of those left in the cupboard, so uh, I might as well get that used up. Uh, there's the sweet corn. Just a little bit of that because I'm going to add some of that to the wedges. Now for the kind of seasoning for the fried rice, I've got the Mapu tofu uh, sauce there. And that is the um, soy, I don't know what it is in all honesty, but you know, vegetable chunk stuff. Yeah, that seems like a good explanation. Um, and there you go, there's the rest of the rice, and that is meal two done. Um, I'll put the, it kind of flaked a bit with this, but it's because it's cold. What it was, um, I made some battered toe fish and chips, and rather than doing like a proper batter, I did like a chickpea batter, so it's kind of like an omelette, so all I did with the leftovers was cook it and just put it somewhere for a moment like this, where I could add it to some um, rice for fried rice. Sorry, my brain is really not working this morning. Now to go with the wedges, um, I've got some of that spicy seasonal, I've put in a bit more of the spring onion and some of the sweet corn, so that is like one part of it, and then the next part is I'm going to make like a kind of chilli type thing, I've got some kidney beans there, um, and I'm going to add into it the passata that needs using up, okay I've not used all of the, um, the kidney beans there, but what I did was, uh, because this was done on Thursday, I just used the rest of the kidney beans for dinner, along with the wraps actually that kind of sat there the entire time um, but for the chili I'm adding in some tomato and some peppers and some of the seasonal and the passata and that uses that up so that is kind of what the goal was with this yeah it's not like chili chili but you know I've now got a microwave at work which is super exciting so once that's all been heated up either by me or Leo whoever picks it up and um, that'll all be good to go now for the last two I'm going to use up the rest of that pepper and the tomato and I'm also going to use up the olives and the half bottle of pasta sauce so basically it's just going to be pasta and sauce with some extra added chunks but you know it gets things used up and it saves them going off because we don't use jar sauce very often so sometimes when we do have it like when we picked it up um, in the M&S hall I'll forget about it I'll use some of it and then I'll forget about it because we just don't use this stuff. So it is kind of hard to remember that we actually have it and it, 9 times out of 10 it does just go off and I want to avoid that. So that's why this is going to get used up here. And that's the last of the olives as well so it's it's clearing out 
Oops, sorry, that's Gigi jumping in a bag behind me. Um, that's clearing out what we've got in the cupboard and making a bit more space for some fresh stuff or even just to open some stuff that's been sitting in the cupboard for a while. Um, so that's it, really. I've got the special flakes and the banana chips for breakfast. We've got the oat cakes and the very special soup. Um, that is our lunch. Again, you know, good to keep mentioning this over to Patreon and you'll find out what that is all about. We've got the two lots of pasta with the uh, jarred pasta sauce. There is the wedges with the kind of mock chili type thing and the spicy corn. Um, what else have we got? The fried rice with the kind of omelette on top and the spicy sauce on the bottom. As always, I put everything on the bottom to stop it soaking into the rice and making it kind of like the Same with the pasta. I always put everything on the bottom to stop it kind of going soggy. And last but not least, our leftover curry. So there it is. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next time.